this morning it doesn't seem too bad. The sun's just starting to come out, so that 30 minute delay could uh, hurt us with the heat, but you know, staying hydrated and all that is key, and uh, as long as you're on top of that, you'll be fine. As far as my form, I think it's pretty good, so hopefully I can just put it all together today. Hanlon up the middle, Jenny King on the outside, Peter Mullins gets amongst it, Beck Anderson slots into second. I had a fairly average start getting pushed off um, off the start line and I was on the dirt, but um, just made up, tried to go hard for the first lap and get back with Beck and um, do my best from there, but she's so strong. I knew my race plan was to get into the main climb first and um, hopefully right away in the descent and you know I expected Kate to catch me and Karen on the climbs. Um, early in the race and I just had to have confidence that I'd be able to ride away at the end. There was uh, so many tough elements today, the course, the humidity, the heat, and most particularly uh, these guys, they, uh, you know, Kate and uh, Karen really pushed me the whole day. Rebecca Henderson, the 2015 Oceania Cross Country Elite Women's Champion. Today was really special and uh, I've put a lot of pressure on myself uh, quietly over the last few months building into this race and you know it's been in the back of my mind for quite a while and uh, it really takes the pressure off for the next two seasons to qualify a spot. Obviously we'll be trying because to get two would be extra special so yeah super relieved today to, to get that spot. Parker with the, um, the New Zealand rider on the inside. You know, it's a really big race and it's a race that, you know, it's the first really big hit out of the season where you get to sort of test the form and see how you're going and it's a race that, um, you know, with the UCI points can really set you up for the rest of the year, so it's super important for everyone to come out and show you all your season form. Good job, Dan. Stick with him. You know, I was always going to be really fast off the start with Sam and Anton, so I was able to sort of settle in with them, and the pace was fairly inconsistent and was fast, and then sort of we'd back off a little bit, and it was fairly cat and mouse. I got onto the single track first and led the first climb, and yeah, Dan came through on the third lap. And he he just sat in and conserved his legs up to that point. And I kind of followed Dan's wheel for about a lap before he dropped me. Um, I think it was the third lap I was able to get to the front at the start of the climb and sort of put a bit of pace on. And yeah, then a bit later on I could do the same. And once I was away by myself, it was you know much easier for me just to you know ride my pace and settle in. Especially with the heat, it's super hard to with all the surges. So it's much easier to just ride your same pace. So that um, worked out really well. Really tough. It's uh, my first year in elite, so trying to keep up with those boys, it was, yeah, pretty brutal. It's so hot out there. I just had sweat coming off me all day. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2015 Oceania Elite Champion, the sixth time, Dan McConnell. Yeah, it was a really big race for both Beck and I. Um, you know, we came in here really wanting to have good races, and um, for me, it was really important to. Um, you know, get some mountain bike legs back and sort of get into the flow of it. You know, World Cups are coming up really fast, so um, you know, I'm really happy how the form is now and I can sort of, you know, focus for a couple months' time. Silver goes to Anton Cooper. I'm never disappointed to lose to Dan, you know, he's, he's top three rider in the world, actually quite consistently, and so yeah, coming second to him is, is not, not something to be disappointed at at all. This is his sixth Oceania Championship. Dan McConnell!